Good morning, brothers and sisters. I am so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And I'm just Joe, no title. And today the message is about the nations need healing. The world needs to be healed by our Lord and Savior, Jesus. And Jesus is coming to set up his kingdom, but things have to happen first. And he's not happy with the environment today. There's robberies, killings, rapes, the list goes on and on. And so he is going to come bring wrath on this earth and then ultimately set up his kingdom. And so we'll read about that today. And so if you brought your Bibles, please turn to the book of Matthew chapter 24. And to lay the stage, the disciples are on Mount Olives with Jesus. And they ask him privately, what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And reading from verse 7. For nations will rise up against nations, and kingdoms against kingdom. And there will be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And so, brothers and sisters, you know that there's war in the world, and there's more war coming. There's pestilence and famine, and there's more of that coming, and earthquakes. But we are in the last days. And so we'll continue reading from verse 12. And because lawlessness will abound, and the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Well, brothers and sisters, we are there. The gospel has been preached to all nations everywhere. And so we're in the last generation. And the next part of this chapter talks about the great tribulation. And in Revelation 3.10, it reads, Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole earth to test those who dwell on the earth. And so that's the great tribulation, brothers and sisters. And God's going to take up his virgin church before the great tribulation. So if you're part of that church, if you believe Jesus came, incarnated from heaven and died for your sins and mine, was buried and arose, and you have repented of your sinful ways, brothers and sisters, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And when Jesus comes to rapture up his church, to take us away from this wrath that he's going to bring upon the earth, praise God, praise Yeshua, you will be part of that virgin church taken up to be with our Lord and Savior. But now let's keep reading. Starting in verse 21. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. The elect are the Jews, brothers and sisters. They are the chosen people. They are God's people. And so God is going to save the remnant, the Jews that are left. So here we learn that the only people that are going to get saved after we are brought out of this world is the Jews. And there's a specific amount of Jews that the Lord tells us in Revelations. There's 144,000 Jews, 12,000 from each tribe that he has pre-selected from the foundation of the world. And he has told his angels, do not harm the earth and the things on the earth until you have marked on the foreheads those chosen Jews, 144,000. So if you're in Israel today and those 144,000 are there today in Israel. God knows who you are. And he is going to preserve your life and protect you. He tells us in the book of Zechariah 14 that nations are going to move to fight Israel, but the Lord will save the remnant and he will cause the mountain to split in two and take them to Hazel. That mountain is Mount Olives. 
And so, brothers and sisters, if you're a Jew listening to this message, you want to give your life to Yeshua so that you will be preserved and be protected during that tribulation. God will protect you and you will be with our Lord and Savior when he sets up his kingdom here on the new earth. The next passage we will read is in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3. And we'll start reading verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of person ought you be in holy conduct and godliness? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens and new earth, in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, look forward to these things. Be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot or blemish. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. And so we all need to be ready to meet our maker face to face, whether we are Jew or Gentile. And being ready, brothers and sisters, is having the Holy Spirit. You have to have the Holy Ghost to be a child of God. You must repent to receive the Holy Spirit. To repent is to follow Jesus by obedience. And so, brothers and sisters, we all have to be ready to meet our Maker because He's going to burn up this earth with fire. And if you are not ready, you will burn up with them. And so, brothers and sisters, you must have faith to be healed to the things coming upon the earth.